Hello. Hello, Mark. Yeah. Hey, it's uh, Roy. I'm your neighbor. I live down the street, a couple blocks down on... T- Roy, Roy. Uh, trying to remember. What's the last name? Uh, Gerbel. It doesn't matter, really. I was just wondering, like, uh, I saw that you rode on my car in the snow, and could you just not I do that? Your... I didn't ride on your car. What are you talking about? Well, it says Mark Mark was here, and, it, like, you know, like, rode a little heart underneath it. Like on the hood of the car? I, you know what? I don't even know who you are, and I'm not out writing on cars. Believe me. Well, I, why would they write your name? It has your name. It says Mark. Well, why would I write my own name on your car? Well, I, I have no idea. Well, but that's, it's not me. It's something, I'm not writing on cars. It's something that kids do, and, and you're not a kid, so, you know, grow up a little bit. Oh, no. and don't do that anymore. Please. Excuse me? I, I said just stop doing that. Stop acting like you're a kid. Stop doing what? Stop. I haven't written on your car. I don't even know who you are. You, you wrote in the snow. Like you just, you know, took your... I did not write any... I did not write in any snow, on any car, anything. Someone's punking you. Yes, you did. Like, I think you're you, punking me. You like my you, name to do it. Why, why would anyone else do it with your name? That doesn't make sense. Well, maybe to initiate this call that we're on right now. Well, I don't know who you are or what you're talking look, about. Look, just, just be a man and admit that you did it and... Maybe just don't do it again, okay? I'm not gonna admit to, I'm not gonna admit to something I didn't do. Why That's not? Simple. You, you did it. What, what, what's your what, what, What's your address? I, I, I'm like a block away, like twenty seven six eighty four, and I know it was you. And you know what? We have security cameras, what? and what? I, I looked on why, the. Why would Why would I do that? I don't and know. That's what I. Me at, you could you couldn't have gotten me on security cameras because I had no idea what you're talking about. It was definitely you. I, I you've got the video right here, and it's not a big deal. I'm not you know gonna do it's anything not, about it's, it. It's it's not. But you know what? It's not me. Look carefully at that because it's not me. Oh, it's definitely I you. I, I I haven't walked down as six eight four. Well, I haven't been at your address. Of of course you would say sure. that if you if you did it because you don't want to get caught. Okay. But you know what? We have cameras you know what? and. Check. You need to well then go ahead and re, go ahead and turn that into the police. Then. I don't want to turn it into the police. It's like a minor thing. You just wrote in the snow on my hood, well, but you're not, trespassing. It's not me. You're trespassing. I, I don't know how much more I can make this clear? I didn't write in any snow at anyone's house, and if you get me on camera, that's some mistake because it's not me. Well, the camera doesn't lie. It's definitely you. And just no, I'm just asking you. I, I should know if I wrote on someone's car or not, or their lawn or. I didn't write on anybody's anything. Look, just, so just listen, this, this, don't this do it again. Done. Yeah, it, the call's over. It's not a big deal. Just please don't do it again because you're trespassing, okay? I, I haven't I haven't done it to begin with. Get that through your skull. Well, I don't see why you're being so defensive. Normal people <laughs> there he goes. use telephones to call people. They don't upset children. Get a life phone, loser. You can try to call you. And- your name is Roy. What is your last name? It's your bell. So I'm being very cold on the telephone. Yeah, just write that. You know what? I think you better take uh, a pill and smoke another funny cigarette and shove it up your ass. Don't you ever call this number again. I know that the phone's not a toy. I just got a call from a Roy. The number shows up and it's spoof. Says he's at my house replacing my roof. Man, this guy's a jerk for this. I just rushed home, left work for this. No one's at my house on my roof. This Roy guy, what a goof. We just made an odd sweet pool, and the landlord says, not cool. Not on the lease, my name's Roy Gerbell, unit 203. I'm a tenant from hell. There's a tunnel system attached. We found a secret hatch. Don't get smart with me, and I'm tight. This is now an archaeological dig site.
You're listening to the Snowplow Show. This is episode 535 for February 25th, 2019. And I'm your host, Brad. Hey, everyone. This episode's brought to you by Stan Trucker, high school graduate, Thomas Z, Omni, and another prank call show. Look at King Richard trying to advertise his prank call show on my prank call show. Can you believe that? The nerve of that guy. Anyway, those are the sponsors of today's show. Thank you, everybody, for supporting the show, even King Richard. Also, thanks to the new people who've signed up recently, like T and Alan J and Jacob and Lisa Phone Home. Those are some of the people that have signed up recently. Thanks, everyone, for supporting the show. You can support the show, too, by going to patreon.com slash phone losers or phone losers.com slash cactus or that other thing with the weird URL run by the dick show. Hey, speaking of King Richard and his dumb prank call show that he does with Olga, in all seriousness, it's pretty funny. I've been listening to it recently, and you should all give it a try because he steals my concepts and he makes them better, and I'm kind of jealous of his show. Like, he's called up homeowners association people and said that he scraped DNA off of their doorknobs, and he's calling to give them their medical results. On another show, he called up homeowners association people and said that the HOA was boycotting Amazon, so nobody in the neighborhood was allowed to use Amazon. And they'd noticed that they were getting boxes from Amazon. It wasn't allowed. They're going to get fines. People lost their shit over that one. That one was great. So I highly recommend it. Look up another prank call show on the Google. I'll put a link to it in the show notes on snowplowshow.com. It's pretty funny. I swear he's not giving me back rubs to say that or anything. I'm just saying I listen to it, and I enjoy it. Him and Olga and I Regret Jumping, they also do the corporate office, the PLA corporate office comic strip. That's still happening over on Olga's Patreon, which you can find at patreon.com slash Olga Draws Dragons. They just released another comic strip recently. Hey, I forgot to mention on the last Snowplow show in episode 534, you know, I did those gym calls again. I did the gym calls in the show before that, and I did a hobo soda between those two episodes where I called even more gym people. And I think there were some okay ones in that hobo sode. Hobo sode number 159. Here, let me skip around in here and see if I can I'm find... I'm call right now, but I've been having trouble reaching you on the phone number I've been using. Can you have a new number? Oh, yeah, uh, this hey, one. W- hey, Michael. So this one, he picked up and just started saying all that stuff. He thought I was somebody else. So this isn't even a gym call, but... No, yeah, it's to uh, a gym no, person. I, 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 this is the same number I've always had. Um, well, maybe I... I was busy getting busy signals and for a couple of days and then I sent a, a text message and it, it didn't go, so... Oh, well, yeah, I mean, it sounds like you're a stupid fucking idiot. Like, figure out how phones work. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I work at the phone uh, company. And him. You, well, which one? Trying to prove himself to me. Verizon. Oh, you'd think you'd know how it all works then. So yeah, there's a 28-minute show of more gym calls. If you couldn't get enough of those... It's not all gym calls. I was also calling this weird phone company number that was like a backdoor into a 411 operator. And then yesterday, there was another hobo sode, which was a lot of fun. It was actually as long as the snowplow show. It was about an hour and 16 minutes. And this employee of a Wendy's restaurant gave me a list of all of her coworkers. And I called every single one of them and just said various things to him. But halfway through, I end up with a co-host named Rachel, who is an employee at this Wendy's. And she just hung out with me the whole time and gave me ideas for prank calls, gave me inside information. Let me oh, see if I can I scroll up here and find anything. Come on in. Chill. <laughs> There's <laughs> chilling. There's Rachel. <laughs> laughing. <laughs> giggling. <laughs> so yeah, she was giving me ideas for calls. Let me try and find one though. Hello? No. Hello, Mark. This is Steve Dave from the corporate office with Wendy's. And uh, we understand yep. you've, been, you've been impersonating employees at the Wendy's. Excuse me? We, we know that you've been imp- er, impersonating an employee named Mark and pretending that you're Mark when you're not really Mark. And we're going to have to ask you to cut... I am Mark. Uh, no, we know you're not Mark. We, we're going to have to ask you to cut that out, please. Like, there, there's no... Okay, can I ask what the heck's going on here? Because I got a call from somebody claiming to be from Wendy's uh, from our store saying that we're being replaced by robots. I'm not sure what? what's going on here now. Yeah, My name I, is Mark. So I work at Wendy's. Look, like, I, I'm I, just, I don't know what's going on here. I, I, we know you're not Mark, and we we need you to stop impersonating Wendy's employees because that's. Okay, uh, against... You want me to come in to prove to you that I'm Mark? Or... Look, we we can tell we have uh, voice analyzers here on the line. We can tell that you're lying, and uh, we know you're not okay, Mark. See, and now I know also... that you're punking me. What are you talking so about? What does y'all that even can mean? Just cut this shit out, or I can actually call Wendy's and I can have y'all fired. Oh no, this well, shit's getting annoying. Well, we'll have if y'all I... are from Wendy's, I can. 
I, you, you, you want me to call Wendy and say, hey, you know, you, know, you have all this shit going on here because you're starting to piss me off, man. You know what? I would threaten to have you fired, but I can't because you're not even Mark. You don't even work for us. So, so I, I guess you win there. I don't know uh, what's I, I, going on here, where you guys made this screw up, but I, I'm really confused as to what the hell's going on here now. So that was a small clip from yesterday's hobo sode. There's a whole hour and 16 minutes of chaos at Wendy's. Me and Rachel even called the, the Wendy's itself, and they were all freaked out about everything. And I got an email here from the girl who sent me the Wendy's list. And it says here in the email, I worked yesterday and people were freaking out, obviously paranoid. Christine thought her ex was doing it. And Miranda and Sean and Mitchell genuinely believed what you told them, LOL. Rachel came to work telling us about being your co-host. And she said you made her day. Did she actually use the word co-host? I called her my co-host. And hopefully the person that sent me this stuff hasn't told anyone that she did all this. But it was fun. Be sure to listen to yesterday's hobo sode on the Patreon. I'll put links to those in the show notes. I don't really have any more announcements, so I guess we'll just start doing a show. Oh, except for the the meetup. The meetup in San Jose, March 16th. There's a link in the show notes to it if you need information. If you're going to be there, I still don't know if I'm going to be there. And yes, I'm serious. I don't know if I'm going to be there. Today, I was listening to the Super Phone Brothers. They did a live show on Prank Call Nation, and I forgot about them. They're going to be there, or at least a couple of them are going to be there. They were talking about that on their show today. So yay, Super Phone Brothers. Dwight, Laugh Track, Matt and Zax, Buster Casey, Wasted Memory, Nick Caesar, Don Fickles from Clown Sec. It doesn't matter that I'm not going to be there. There's going to be so many PLA people there. It's completely worth it. Please go to it. I have a song here that Jeff sent to me yesterday, which is based on the Put Dane on the Phone prank call that I put on yesterday's show, or the last Snowplow show, I mean. Anyway, here it is. Thanks, Jeff. Don't, 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 you put Dane on the phone right now. Right now. You put Dane on the phone right now. Right now. You put Dane on the phone right now. Right now. You put Dane on the phone right now. You put Dane on the phone right now. You right now. You put Dane on the phone right now. Right now. I've got a list here that Mark sent in. It's a list from a raffle, I guess. A raffle for a vacation dinner. He says, this list of ladies was acquired from a draw drum after a woman's network vacation dinner. The grand prize was some sort of a trip, so maybe Carol can let them know that the winner died and they're the new winners. And also Carrot Top is coming along. Okay. So I'm going to turn on the Carol voice and call this list of people. And it's a pretty huge list. It's, uh, I don't know, 15 or 20 people here. This might take up a whole show if people answer. Number one on the list is Carla. Hello? Hello, Carla? Yes. Hey, it's Carol. I'm calling from the, uh, you know, you entered this raffle, this raffle dinner vacation thing. What is this for? Remember you entered a raffle dinner for a raffle, a dinner vacation? We, we, put your, we put your information in the drum and we spun it around. Oh, okay. You remember that? You remember? No, I don't. You don't remember this? It wasn't too long ago. You didn't enter in a raffle for a vacation dinner? Not you... really, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's weird. You'd think he'd remember it. Anyway, uh, the lady that won, her name was Joanne, and she, uh-huh. di- she died today. So you... Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you get to win instead. Isn't that great? Oh, I, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. You win because, oh, thank you. because thank Joanne, you. Joanne is dead. Joanne leaves behind a husband and three small children. Oh, my goodness. But at least you get to go on a vacation, right? Is this a prank? No, no. You got to look on the bright side. I just feel like you should be able to tell me what dinner it was. Well, I, I think it's... No, no, no. I can tell you what dinner is. I just think it's weird that you don't know. Like, I, like I've entered a few things, but it's... But you just spent yeah, all day entering weird contests? 
Is that, is that what you do all day? You just enter contests and stuff? Uh, I've got to figure out where this thing is from so I sound more credible. Hopefully one of the next women will tell me what this is all about. Hello, Cheryl speaking. Hi, Cheryl. Uh, this is Carol. Um, I'm from that contest you entered for the dinner vacation. You remember that? Mm, nope. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, you don't? Like the, the vacation dinner? Uh, the a women's network vacation dinner? Oh, okay, right, yeah. W which one was that for? Like, do you remember? The jungle one, I think. The jungle? Yeah. The jungle women's dinner vacation. That's the only one that I've been to. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. You're correct. Ding, 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 you win. Anyway, um, yeah, so there was a lady who won. Her name was Victoria. Okay. But she's dead. She died yesterday, so you Oh, are my God, you're kidding me. No, no, you're second in line, so you win. Congratulations. What did I win? Uh, you win the dinner vacation. So, yay, you win. Congratulations. You win the A prize. dinner vacation? Yeah, the dinner vacation. Um, but here's the problem. Are you ready for the problem? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we had the celebrity here in our office. Yeah. And he, he saw the tickets sitting on Diane's desk. And he's, okay. just, he's just like, I want them and took them. Because he's a celebrity, so we just kind of give him whatever he wants. Okay. So both the dinner, he took the dinner, the dinner and the vacation tickets. Okay. He took it all. All right. Do you know who Carrot, do you know who Carrot Top is? Yeah, I know who Carrot Top is. Yeah, yeah, it was him. He was here in our office. So, I mean, that's kind of cool oh. when you think about it, that Carrot Top's going to be taking the vacation that you were supposed to get. Yeah, that is pretty funny, I guess. So, He'll turn that into a joke somehow. Yeah, probably. Probably he's going to have a laugh at your expense. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep. But, I mean, that's kind of cool. It's almost like you're famous. Like, you know, you're hanging out with Carrot Yeah, Top. exactly. So, <laughs> congratulations for that, at least. Thank you. <laughs> and, I mean, like, maybe all the bad mojo will go on him since What's-Her-Face died. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yep, yep. So, what was it? It's like a jungle dinner? What, you, what the? What's a jungle dinner? No, I was at a women's networking dinner. Oh, women's networking. Yeah. I thought you said Is something about it. Is that what this it? was about? Yeah, I thought you said it's something about a uh, jungle. Yeah, they had a jungle theme at this one. Oh, the jungle theme. Where, where was that at? Yeah. I, I'm just here in the call center. Mm, no, I can't remember. <clears throat> um, oh. So, was there, did, did you need me for something? Or? Do, do you really go to that many uh, women's networking dinners that you don't remember where it was? It was up. But is this... No, oh, that one. Okay. I've heard of that place. Okay, so do you need anything from me? No, no. I was just telling you that you won the contest after uh, What's-Her-Face died. But then Carrot Top okay. came in and he took your tickets. So you okay. basically don't get anything. All right. So, sucks to be you. Yeah, okay, bye. All right. Hey, what you doing tonight? I'm actually busy, but is there something that you need? Well, I didn't answer the question. What are you doing? Like, are you watching TV? Oh, I'm busy. Are you busy watching TV? It's not going to tell me. So there we go. Women's networking dinner that had a jungle theme, and it was in... Oh, and look, there it is. I just found it on Facebook. So now that I've gone through half of the list, you know, a bunch of these people haven't answered yet, but now that I'm halfway through the list, I, I know where I'm calling from. This is great. Let's call Victoria, the lady that died. Hello? Hi, Victoria? Yeah? Hey, it's Carol um, from the Women's Networking Dinner. We had, we had the jungle yeah. theme. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you remember that? Um, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, how long has it been? It hasn't been that long, has it? Which networking dinner are you talking about? Uh, the one I'm... Um, vacation dinner. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. You, you went, uh, entered this contest to... Uh, win the vacation dinner. Yeah, I did. Yeah? yeah you, you were sitting at table 13, right? I believe so. Okay, yeah. You put gum under the table, and that's pretty disgusting. 
I did not, but okay. Oh, no, you absolutely did. We have security cameras, and that's, you were the, we, we know exactly where you were sitting, and that was not cool, because, you know, one of us had to, had to clean that up. So, you know, in the future, when you come here, don't, don't put your gum under the table, please. I am 99% sure I've never put gum under a table. And how do you know it's me? Because half of us were wearing costumes. We know which um, costume you were in. And it's been like five months. I know. I know it was five months ago. But that doesn't change the fact that we just found it recently and someone here had to clean it up. And they were not happy with you. We reviewed the security footage and everything, and we couldn't even see you putting it under there. So, that was not cool. You shouldn't do stuff like that. Shame on you, Victoria. Um, not accepted because I didn't do that. And second of all, I would love to see security camera footage of this. Oh, I bet you would. You'd probably get off on that shit. Watching yourself putting no. gum under tables that someone else Can has to clean. Can you describe to me the person you see in the security footage? Yeah, yeah, it looks just like you. No, we know it was you. Like you don't have to pretend you didn't do it. We're we're not gonna we're not we, you know we're not trying to punish you or anything. I'm just just saying maybe don't do it again. I'm sorry that you think this is funny, but um, yeah, I don't think it's funny at all. I think it's disgusting. You shouldn't be doing stuff like this. You're a grown ass woman. You should learn learn to clean up after yourself. You know, just put your gum in a napkin or something. There she goes. It doesn't say she was sitting at table 13, but I see on this other one down here, it says table 16. And I doubt anyone remembers which tables they were sitting at. Oh, look at this one. This, this one lady named Candace, there's a note on here. It says, I found two of her names in the few out of a thousand or so names. Fucking cheater. She's out of the women's network. Right, Carol? That's what Mark is saying on here. And yeah, I totally agree. In fact, I think I should accuse several people of doing that. And he says there's a thousand names. He only gave me like maybe 20 of them here. Why didn't you give me a thousand? Why didn't you type out a thousand of these, Mark? What are you, lazy? It's okay, though. I'm going to call up this Candace person and set her straight about cheating. I'm going to shame her so hard. Speaking. Oh, hello, C Candace? Yes. Hey, it's it's Roy from the Women's Network. Oh, hi. Hey, um, you entered this contest here. Uh, you know, we put your name in this drum thing. And um, you didn't win, but we were counting the votes here today, okay. and we noticed that you entered two times. Uh, I'm I not I don't re quite remember which day that was. Like which day? That was about five months ago. You don't remember the jungle theme, the women's network? Oh yes, now I remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the one. Um, yeah, you entered twice in here. Like we found your name in here twice. Okay. So it's like sorry. You're, you're you're trying to game the system. No, I don't know. I think my friend wanted me to just enter for her as well, so I don't know. Oh, I don't know about that. It seems like you put uh, her name in there then, if if it was that. I'm not sure. So I'm just calling to say shame on you. Shame, shame, no. shame, shame, shame. I know. Shame, shame, shame. I hope I didn't win. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm glad you think this is all a big fucking joke because, you know, it's it's not cool to cheat. And I'm going to put you in the computer here, typing it in into your profile that you are a cheater. <laughs> Sounds good. You you're a cheater, and uh, I don't know. I don't. I I'm putting it down here that you're not eligible for future contests. Sure. So no more. I don't mind. No more vacation dinners for you. No, no, would, definitely not. Would Would you have felt good about that if you'd won? Like after you put in two different entries? Oh yeah, I would have felt really good about it. Oh well, it makes you kind of an asshole. Yeah, for sure. Why'd you put me on speakerphone? Why not? I don't know. Why? I asked first. What if you're, what if you're being recorded right now? Uh, you can record me. I don't give a shit. Be a scared little bitch? No, no. It's, I'm the opposite of scared. I said yeah. I don't care. Oh, right. Well, talk along. No, no. I've already had my say. I just wanted to say shame on you. You're a cheater. And anyone else there in the room, they should never trust you. Because you... Oh, there she goes. She hung up. I was expecting more remorse than that. And damn it, I forgot to put on the Carol voice. So I'm like, hey, this is Roy from the Women's Network. Let's try that same thing, though, with Megan. And I have the voice on now. Not going to forget. Hello? Hello, Megan? 
speaking. Hey, Megan, it's Carol. I'm from the Women's Networking Dinner that you, you attended about five months ago. Yes, how you're, you're are you? Pretty good. You remember we had that contest where you had to put your name into the drum and we spun it around and you didn't win? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I yeah. never win anything. Yeah, well, I mean, you, you tried pretty hard to win on this one because... I just noticed today that um, you you put your name in here twice. You put your name and your phone number in here twice, and you didn't think we'd oh. notice. Okay. So shame on you, Megan. Shame, shame, shame. Shame on me. I apologize. Yeah. Well, you know what? It, it doesn't it doesn't change the fact that you're a cheater. You tried to cheat. You tried to cheat your way into this vacation dinner, and that was not cool. Are you talking about? Women's Network? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. You put your name okay, in here and twice, and you're a big cheater. Okay, Okay. well, I apologize. Huh? I'm sorry, my alarm was going off. I was timing my daughter while she was reading. Oh, can I talk to your daughter? I want to tell her that you're a big cheater. I would be like, your mom Pardon is a me? cheater. And Carol, what's your last name? Uh, Gersberms. So that, that's a no, I can't tell your daughter that you're a cheater? No, she's eight years old. Well, what, are you ashamed of being a cheater? <sighs> I'm sorry, but who, who are you calling from? I'm from the Women's Network. I was just going to tell your daughter to start calling you Cheater McCheaterson. The big fat cheater. Um, a big fat cheater, and from Women's Network you're from? Correct, yes. Oh, okay. And have you spoken to their president about this then? Oh, yeah, yeah, they know all about it. They put you in the computer as a cheater. So you, you're not going to be eligible for future contests because you're, you're trying to cheat all the time. Trying to game okay, the system. Okay, well, I... Pardon me? You're trying to game the system is what you're trying to do. Okay. Well, I'll take your name and phone number, and I'll make sure that I discuss this with the Women's Network tomorrow morning. Okay. Actually, I'll kind of, I'll, I'll actually give um, the president a call tonight. Oh, no, the president won't want to talk to you. The president doesn't, doesn't talk to cheaters. Oh, okay. And I'm, I'm sorry, and your name was Carol? Yep, Carol Gersberms, and my phone number is on your caller ID. Can you spell your last name for me, Carol? Sure. G-E-R-S-E-R-B-E-R-M-S. -E -E Perfect. Well, thank you so much for expressing your concern to me tonight and um, thinking that you had the right to speak to my daughter about my actions. I'll make sure I explain my conversation with you to her. Okay. But for future reference, please do not call my phone number again. Well, thank you. Maybe for future reference, don't cheat. Not cool to cheat, man. Okay, it looks like I have 11 here left to call. Hello. Hello, Tina? Oh, you got the wrong number. What? No, it's a, I'm calling from the Women's Network. You entered the contest here? Is it? Your name's not Tina? No, it's not. And you didn't go to the Women's Networking Dinner? The one with the jungle theme? And mm, oh, yes, that I did. Oh, okay. Are you just trying to throw off the telemarketers? It's t it's Tanya. Oh, whatever. I don't, I'm it's looks it looks like Tana on here, like you have bad handwriting. But anyway, um, I'm calling because um, you filled out this paper to enter the vacation dinner thing. Okay. And you kept the pin. And pardon? You kept the pin. You di you didn't return the pin after you filled out the thing. You just filled out the, the thing, and we put it in the drum, and you put the pin in your purse. Yeah. Okay. That's not cool to steal. What do you mean, okay? You're saying it like it doesn't matter. It's our pin. It's not your pin. Damn it. She acts like I shouldn't even care. Hello, Nicole speaking. Hey, Nicole. It's Carol from the Women's Networking thing here in... Okay. Um, you, 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 uh, you attended that dinner here a while back, uh, you know, the... The jungle theme dinner about five months ago. Oh yeah, okay. And you entered this contest for the uh, the 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 dinner, the vacation dinner thing. Okay. 
All right. And so you admit it. You, you did enter this? I, I entered a contest? Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, uh, you know, you filled out this paper, and, you know, we were supposed to draw the paper for the winner, and you filled it out, and you kept our pin. You, you never returned the pin. You just kept it. What? The pin. You know, you used a pin to fill out this paper, and it was our pin, and you, you just put it in your purse. You kept it. You took it home. And that is not cool. You know, it's not cool to steal from us. I know it's just a pin, but it's our pin. It's not your pin. I'm sorry, what is this regarding? Uh, it's, it's regarding our pin. You kept our pin. Do you still have it? Because those weren't free pins. Those were, you know, those were supposed to stay here. You're not supposed to just take things. Pen? Yeah, yeah, you know, to write with. You write your name and your address and your phone number down on the little contest entry form. You, you kept our pin. We want our pin back, please. From, from where? I, I'm from, from what company? Well, I'm from the Women's Networking. And we just, we just want our pin back, that's all. I took a pen? Yeah. So you admit it. You took the pin. Can you just send it back? I don't know what pen I took. Well, do you take a lot of pins? No, I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you, you filled out this paperwork, and then you kept our pin. And I think you should, you, you should do the right thing and at least you know, go out and buy a new pin and send it back to us. I can give you the address. Okay. Have you got a pen to write down the address? I bet you do. Did, did you just text it to me? I actually don't have a pen nearby. Oh, that that's just funny. That, that you just think this is all a big joke. Well, listen here, Missy. You, you don't need to be going around stealing pens. I know it doesn't seem like a big deal to you, but, you know, people steal our pens and it adds up. You, you just shouldn't, shouldn't be stealing pens like that. You know? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, I just do not. You know it's not the right thing to do. You're going around stealing pins from people that don't belong to you. You can't just be stealing people's pins. Shame on you, Nicole. Shame, shame, shame. I'm sorry, your name again is? Uh, my name is Carol Gersperms. I'm with the... Carol... Yeah, Carol Gersperms. I'm with the... Women's Network. Well, I'm with the Women's Network as well. Okay. Well, that doesn't mean you can steal the pins. That's not your pin. I don't recall taking a pen. Like P-E-N or P-I-N. Don't make fun of the way I pronounce things. It's P-E-N. I, I explained this. You write down your name and your address with it. A pen. I can't help it if I have a speech impediment. I'm not saying you do. I'm just double-checking that I'm understanding that I'm getting a phone call about a pen that I... I just don't recall the situation. Yeah, well, just send us any pen back. Just any pen. You, you just owe us a pen is what I'm saying. Send a pen back to us. To the Women's Network. Yeah. Just give us our pen back. Please. Alrighty. Yeah. If you just want to text me the mailing address for that, I will be sure to do what I can. Okay, that'd be great. Thank you so much, Nicole. Okay. I hope you have a nice night. You having a good night? Not particularly, but thank you. Oh, what, what are you doing? What's wrong? What's the matter? Nicole? Um... <laughs> It's okay. Uh, just text me the address that you need a pen sent to, and I'll take it from there. Thank okay. you. Okay. All right. Well, what are you doing tonight, though? You watching television or playing on the Internet? No. Oh, geez. Wow. Okay. Sorry I asked. All right. Well, take care. Thank okay. you. Okay. All right. I'll text you that address. Okay. Bye-bye. Since, since you don't have a pen, ironically enough.
All right. Have a good night. Bye-bye. All right. You too. Bye. Oh, this is so stupid. What, what am I doing? All right. Next, we're going to call Miranda. And I'm pretty sure Miranda was singing at table 15. That sounds about right. Miranda speaking. Oh, hey, Miranda. It's Carol. Uh, I work here at the convention center. Hi there. Hi. Um, it looks like you were here about five months ago for that women's networking dinner. Okay, yeah. And you were sitting at table 15? Yes, I think so. Okay, and yeah, you carved, you took a knife and carved your name into the table. And we just noticed that what? This, this morning, and that was not cool. You know, that's our property. I definitely did not do that. Oh, no, we, we're sure it was you. I mean, it, it's your name that's on here. It says Miranda? Yeah, and you were sitting at table 15. You just admitted it. I would not ever carve my name in a table. Yeah, with a pocket knife. It says Miranda was here. And On you, the table. Yeah, and you didn't even spell was right. You must, what the hell? I know, I that's, that's honestly, exactly what I said. I honestly really would never do that. I am very surprised to hear that. Yep, well, maybe you are just, I, I don't know, just whacked out of your mind on drugs or something, but you carved I definitely your, was not. carved your name at our table, and that was not cool, and I just wanted to call and say shame on you. Shame, shame, shame. I'm very sorry. That is really not something I would do, and I don't know. I, I'm very confused and surprised by this, honestly. Okay. All right. Well, I'm just not call- like... I'm happy to pay any sort of damages that were incurred. I definitely did not. That's not something I would do, so I'm very surprised. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, I'm just kidding with you. We didn't really, um, see, you know, you didn't really carve your name on the table. I'm just messing with you. I was just joshing. What? I was just kidding around. Oh, that's a weird joke. I know. I've got a weird sense of humor. We were just we were just cleaning up all the stuff here in the convention center. We found your your name in in the contest drum, and we're just like, teehee, wouldn't it be funny if we just called up some of these people? Oh my god, you scared me so much. I was so worried. Oh, don't be worried. It's just a joke. We're just joshing. Okay, good. I was like, I definitely don't think I did anything like that. No, I can tell you're a nice person. You're a nice young okay. lady. You scared me for a second there. Oh, I'm sorry. I I was just kidding around. Just kidding. (laughs) Okay, (laughs) phew. All right, well, I got to go. I got work to do here. Okay, thank you. Uh Goodbye. Bye. Fuck. Oh, man, I I defused that one. She she was about to, to burst into tears, and I don't want that. I make enough women cry in real life. Ah, all right. Um, geez, okay. Hello? Hello, Krista? Yeah? Hey, it's Carol. I'm calling you from the convention center. Yes. And it looks like you were here about five months ago for a women's networking thing. Um, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, and you were sitting at table 16? I think so. Yeah, um, you took a pocket knife and you carved your name into our table. And uh, no, I most certainly did not. Oh, no, you most certainly did, because it has your name on here. It says Krista f- was here. And that's... Uh, no, I don't own a pocket knife, and I would never uh, do something like that. Well, who else would carve your name into a table? And it was table 16. That's where you were sitting. What kind of event was it? It was the women's networking thing. It was the jungle theme. Yes. Yes, it was. Yep, I remember so, that. I was definitely there. So I, you admit it. It was you that carved your name into this table, and that's not cool. It's not your property. No, I most certainly did not carve my name into that table. That, that's vandalism, Krista. And, I and don't. Sh- I don't own a pocket knife. And I, yeah, a likely story. Anyway, I'm just calling to say shame on you. Shame, shame, shame. Well, that. I'm sorry, but you are shaming the wrong person because I most certainly did not do that. Well, who else would write Krista f- was here? Well, my last name is f- for one. Well, I, and excuse me for not pronouncing it I don't know who would right. do that or why they would do that, but I most certainly did not. 
And to be honest, I left that event early that night. Probably, so, probably uh, left early because no, you were afraid you were going to get caught. I certainly did not carve my name into a table. I am 43 years old, and I do not do things like that. Yeah, you're way that too is, old. You're way too old for this kind of stuff. I know, maybe you're just. Uh, yeah, I most certainly am, and I don't know who would have done that. But it was not me, because that's the stupidest thing somebody could ever do, is I carve agree. their own name into a table. I agree. I and agree. It that was, was not me. Very and I don't know why you're calling me to shame me, because that's not something that I did. I don't know who you are, but that's not something that I did. Okay. All right. Well, I was just testing you, because they, they, just, they, they just wrote initials in here. Actually, the initials are, are um, MB. And um, I'm just calling up everybody that was here that night and, and shaming them to see who will confess. Are you serious? Yeah. But you passed the test. I guess it wasn't you. Well, it most certainly was not me. That's ridiculous. I know. It is ridiculous that somebody would do this. I can't believe it. How I, did I, you get my name? Uh, we got a list of all the names that were here that, here that night. So uh, I'm just calling up everyone on the list and uh, just trying to get them to confess. Well, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard that I agree. anybody would do that. I know. I know. But I can't believe it. I, 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 to, to be honest, I don't, I don't appreciate the, the phone call and the accusations. Yeah. Well, no, I wasn't accusing you. I was just testing you. It was just a test. Well, I don't appreciate it. Yeah, I know. Well, and you know what? We don't appreciate our tables being carved into. Well, I know. These, these are expensive I'm in the tables. industry, and I know. You're what? I'm in the industry. Uh -huh. I'm in the restaurant and food service industry. Yeah. So you think you'd know better than to carve into a table? Uh, yeah, I do know better than to carve into a table, and it's not something that I would ever do. Okay, good. I'm going to write that down, that you did not do this. And there she goes. Man, I feel like these women are getting way too emotional when I accuse them of carving into a table. I felt like I needed to diffuse that one, too. Hello? Hello, Lisa? Hello? Hello, Lisa? Pardon? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Lisa? I can hear you. What uh, is it? Okay, it's, it's, it's hard to hear you. I think you're holding the phone upside down. It's, it's Carol from the convention center here. Okay. And um, you were here about five months ago for a women's networking dinner. Um, was that was five weeks ago? Yes, I was. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Hey, um, you know, you were sitting at table 16, right? I can't remember the number, but maybe. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm pretty sure it was because... I'm in Mexico, so that's why you can't hear me. You're what? I'm in Mexico, so that's probably why you can't hear me. Oh, la-di-da. Well, it looks like when you were here... <laughs> You carved your name into a, into one of our tables with a knife. You wrote Lisa was here. Lisa? Yeah, you wrote Lisa was here. And that was not cool. You shouldn't so. be doing stuff like that. I don't think so. That wasn't me. Oh, it was definitely you. We know it was, it was you. Table 16. What? Oh, there was two Lisas at that table. Now, I think it was you, though, because we looked on the security camera. We can see it was you. So I am just calling to say shame on know? you. Like, what? Okay, so what, 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 what day was this party? Uh, you know, about five, five weeks ago, months, some. I've been but, here actually since, like, November, so when was the party? Oh, look, you, you, don't, you don't have to just lie to me or anything. I'm, you're not, you're, we, it's not like we can arrest you for this. I'm just saying that was a shitty thing no, to no, do. No, no, I'm just saying I've been in Mexico since November. Yeah, well, you weren't, no, you, I'll take, you were, well, you were quiet, at the dinner. I've been here since November. Yeah, yeah. Pardon? Yeah, what, nice brag, nice flex. Look, tell me the date. You keep uh, saying five weeks ago, so what was the date? I, whenever. I don't know. I don't have the paperwork in front of me. I'm, I just have this table in front of me, and we have to throw the whole table away because you carved your name in it. Okay, you know what? If you can't tell me the date, goodbye. <laughs> Fine. Whatever. That's how she's going to get rid of me because I don't know the date of the thing. I guess I, it's right here on Facebook. I could just 
look at this. So yeah, there it is. It's more like four months ago. Hello, it's Bev speaking. Hey, Bev, it's Carol from the convention center. Oh, hi. Hi, how you doing? Oh, pretty good, thanks. That's how are good. you? Oh, I'm pretty good. I'm, I'm just here uh, looking at our table here where you carved your name into it. What? Pardon? You, you carved your, you took a knife and you carved your name into this table. You were here for a women's convention, a networking dinner. And uh, I'm not sure. What, I, I really am not sure what you're talking about. I never carved my name into anything. Oh, yes, you did. It's right here on the table. It says Bev was here, and that's the table you were sitting at, table 13. Oh, well, I didn't do it. I'm not sure who did that. Well, I, have, I, I, I don't really, know who else I'm would do sure it. What you're talking Pardon me? You were the only Bev that was there that night, so it has to be you. And that's the table you were sitting at. So you're, huh, you're, I, I have... Sorry, we just finished city council meeting here, so I just uh, stepped out of the thing, but I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Yep. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you're busted. We know you did it. There you and, go. You know, you could at least apologize. But I told you I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, I, Why are you calling me at 8.30 at night? I told you what I'm talking about. You vandalized one of our tables, and now we have to have it refinished. That's all your fault. So shame on you. Ooh. Shame, shame, shame. Okay. I have to go here back to the meeting. Bye-bye. Well, what's happening in the meeting? Nobody wants to fess up to vandalizing our tables. I think I'm about done. I'm recalling a couple of these to see if they pick up, but not having much luck. Hello, Michelle? This is. Hey, Michelle. It's Carol from the convention center. Yes. And you were here about four months ago for a women's networking dinner. Yes. And um, it looks like you were sitting at table nine, right? Uh, I don't specifically remember. Okay, well. Um, oh, maybe. We're sure. I, yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't specifically remember the table, but I know it was kind of on the edge a little bit. Yep, yep, that's the one. Um, you, you, uh, I, I don't know, I'm just, we, we're looking at the table here, and it looks like you carved your name into the table with a knife. No, I didn't. Oh, yeah, you did. It says Michelle S. was here. And you drew, I and you drew little wouldn't hearts. Have done any, I wouldn't have done anything even remotely like that. Oh, you did so because we we sh we it's it's right here, right here in front of me. It says Michelle S S was here, and you drew little hearts. I under. I mean, I I understand that there is something there, but I definitely didn't do it. Well, nobody else. Like, I, Michelle S was sitting there. No, I understand. I just like which women's networking dinner was this that you think that I was like? Is this the um? The, uh, which one is it? The like women's, women's network. Right, but like what was the... The jungle, um, jungle content? theme. Like was, okay, yeah, no, I understand that. <sighs> and where was the, like what seat was it? Look, we know it was you. Just admit it and apologize. That's all I ask. Just apologize for vandalizing no, our table. I, I know, I understand, but I honestly, like, I didn't do anything of the sort. And I would... Never deface property. And, and I, like, I promise you, I was on, like, I barely sat at the table. I, I walked around all of the, um, I walked around all of the uh, auction. My friends and I, we, we were only sitting there for the dinner, and that was it. Yeah, and also you put your gum under the table. I, I, I didn't. I Honestly, didn't do any of that. Uh huh. You put you put like a big I old wad of gum, in. like right under the table, right right by where you're sitting. Because I was sitting here looking at this graffiti, and I put my knee in your gum. I'm like ew, ugh, gross. Ah, did the gum thing make her hang up? Hello. Hello. Oh, hello, Joanne. Yeah. Hey, Joanne. It's Carol from the Women's Networking. Uh, you were at one of our dinners at the convention center about four months ago. Um, was I? Yeah, yeah. You entered a contest to win this uh, vacation dinner. 
Oh, really? <laughs> yep, yep, that was you. I can't believe you don't remember. Oh, my God. You, you don't remember the, you're going to win a vacation to Ermine Blam. To where? Ermine Blam. But, um, so, yeah, there, there's this lady named Maria. She originally won, but before she could go on the vacation, she died. She died just two days ago. But we have good news. That means you're the winner. Joanne? Joanne? I can't hear you. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Hey. So you won this con you won the vacation to Ermine Blam. The vacation to where is it? Ermine Blam. It's a vacation. Well, where's Ermine Blam? You know, it, it's just a couple hundred miles away. But it's it's all paid for. The only catch is that you're gonna be going there with Carrot Top. He's a comedian. And you're you're gonna be rooming with him. Oh, yeah, sure. No, I'm completely serious. He's he's part of the package deal. Is this that women's thing, the great big uh, supper? Yeah. Well, we call it dinner here in civilized society. But we, it was the jungle oh. theme. Can you send me some information by email on this? Yeah. Well, hey, can't you just say thank you? Because, you know, we're, we're giving you a free dinner. And a, a free trip to Ermine Blam. Well, thank you, but I'm I'm frankly shocked, and I I don't know if this is legitimate or not. Oh no, it's definitely legitimate. I'm I'm with the Women's Network. Oh. Yeah, it's Carol. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. It's all right, but but yeah, um, Carrot Top is coming along. It's going to be two tickets plus Carrot Top, so you can bring someone with you, but Carrot Top's going to be staying in your room. And when is it? Uh, it's whenever you want. It's, it has to be within the next month. Because um, we, oh. we're like a little short on time since, uh, you know, Maria died. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maria was okay. the original winner, but she died. So her death oh is God. your win. Wow. Yep. Congratulations. Oh. oh, thank you. I'm just, I'm shocked. <laughs> yep. Yep. Don't, don't get too shocked and died like, like Maria. No, 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 I won't. Okay, good. We don't need another death on our hands. Yeah, do you have a, my email? Yep, yep, we got all your information okay. here. I can go ahead and send you the, the info. But that, it's cool, right, if Carrot Top comes along? Yeah. Because <laughs> he, he's going he's gonna to be bringing people with him. Like, he's got, well, he's got an entourage, so there's going to be a bunch of people in the room with you. It's going to be, like, a, basically a big party. For okay. The whole, for the whole the whole three or four days that you're gone. Oh my God. Carrot Top's gonna be there. He's gonna be doing stand up in your room. He's very <laughs> very loud and obnoxious. Do you know who Carrot Top is? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's Carrot Top. You get to meet Carrot Top. Oh my God. He'll probably I remember him. Yeah, yeah. He'll probably put you in his act. He'll probably like you know make you do stand up with him or something. They'll probably, like, ha oh, laugh at, have laughs at your expense. <laughs> All righty, then. It's going to be great. You're going to have so much fun. Okay, thanks so much. All right. Well, I'll email you the information, and uh, be sure to Google Armin Blam. It's a cool place. All right. All right. Okay, thank you. Bye, Joanne. I love you. Well, thank you. Bye. I love you. Love you. All right, thanks. <laughs> thanks for saying it back. Bye. All right, bye. Bye-bye. Yay, Joanne loves me. It looks like that's the last one. I guess I can... Turn off this stupid voice now. But that was the last one. Uh, I, call, I recalled pretty much everyone and got most of them to answer. I have four of them here left, but I think I'm going to give up on those and just delete this list. So thank you, Mark, for the list. It was a lot of fun. Mark also says at the bottom of his email, if this list works out, send me some stickers. He gives me his address. But I would have sent you stickers even without a phone number list. I'm a nice person. So I will have those in the mail soon. Thanks for sending this list in. Hey, RB. That was pretty cool hey. with the payphone thingies. I called around 12 o'clock Eastern time, and I managed to get a hold of somebody headed to 
Switzerland. We had like a three minute conversation. Oh, cool. He thought it was really funny that someone from West Virginia had nothing better else to do than to call random payphone numbers. Yeah. But <laughs> that was funny. But anyway, do you have any more payphone numbers you want to share? I don't. I thought you were. Bye. But you've had better luck with that number than I have. All I get is people picking up and not saying anything to me. But people call this voicemail all the time from payphone numbers. I should start saving those. Hey, Brad, it's SP Link. Hey, What's SP Link. On? Well, I just wanted to drop you a quick great. line and say hi. And oh my goodness, those lists that I sent you have been a fucking home run. They sure have. The Royal Farms list. Thanks. And the Craigslist free calls list that you did recently. I'm going to get to some more stuff. Yep. We got at the park here. We're losing also you. We're losing to say you. That song you played at the end of the Steve Jones, the Snowplow show, the Bone Cage song, Sweet Pea, that's actually the plot to the first season of Telltale, The Walking Dead game. I knew Not that. Not sure if you or the listeners knew that. I have but never played anyway, it. Anyway, we'll catch you later. You should watch Bye. the video. Watch the video for that song. He has the gameplay in the video. It's kind of cool. It's all put together nicely. Oh, hey. I, I was listening to you. Uh, it's Corbin guy. I was I know. listening to, 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 to you, you know, your, your episode. You're trying to get the lady to, you know, answer penis or vagina. Well, let's just simplify that to number one or number two. Think about it. Number one or number two. Okay, okay. Corbin Yay. guy. All right, love you much. Bye-bye. You've just solved all of the gender problems of the world. Good job. I am proud of you. Hey, uh, Brad. I was hey. wondering, I heard a story about you. Is it true that uh, when the FBI raided your house and you became a fugitive for a while, you left them FBI donuts? in the refrigerator yeah that was you me you had like a note or something it that's, was like that's what i did uh, F you or you label it like fbi donuts and they, yeah they opened it up and they had the donuts i didn't tell anyone that how'd you know i heard that story and it was really funny yeah um, i've heard anyway, it too you're doing great brad it was a great show that you just had thanks Snowball show all right all see right. you later bye goodbye no i didn't do anything weird with donuts and the fbi had no idea they were coming you're thinking of the wrong person. Hey, RBCP. It's the Doors. Hey, yeah. I'm just sitting here staring out my window, looking at my crick, thinking about taking a trip to Cincinnati. Hope you're doing well. Love Do the it. show. It's a great idea. Thanks for the voicemail. Yo, Brad. What's up? It's the Mad Weasel. Hey. Hey, so the last uh, hobo study you did there with uh, Bill, the guy that was going to shoot you in the ass with a uh, Colt 65. Yeah. He probably meant a Colt 45. Okay. Part of the little insight on that. The no, his is better than a forty-five. It's a sixty-five. So probably part Dummy. of the reason he wanted to shoot you with a Colt forty-five uh, is that he was watching High Noon uh, just before he called you because the song that was playing at the end, coming from his TV, was uh, Two Minutes to Twelve uh, by Dimitri Tyomkin. Crazy. Anyways, it's part of a uh, soundtrack to uh, High Noon. Okay. The original motion picture. It all adds up now. Anyways. It all makes sense. Fun fact for you there. Thanks. All right. Keep uh, keep 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 calling those uh people and uh maybe we should do a uh, maybe we should do a hang up the phone marathon. Yeah, maybe you should hang up. You have to see how oh. long you could get somebody to not hang up the phone. I mean, it could go on for days. You go for days, like like a week long marathon. Yeah, that would be so, fun. You should uh, challenge some of your other prankers to uh, hang up the phone. They marathon. could just lie to me though. Okay, bye. They could just edit their call so that it's five hours long and be like, "I won." Hey, Brad. It's not not Brad. Hey. Uh, anyway, I thought I'd call in and give you a little reassurance on who I am. I'm, I'm not not Brad. I'm not not Brad. You get it? Because I'm not not Brad. Oh, and I'm okay. also not you. Who? It makes and sense. In the same way, not Brad isn't you as well, so All right. as confused as I am. Okay, thanks. Anyway, bye. For, for clarifying. I appreciate it. Hey, Brad, it's Wasted. Hey, Wasted. Just, you know, thanks for shouting out the URL the other day. That was, that was nice of you. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. And, uh, thanks for listening. You were listening the other day. Thanks. Bye. I sure was. Oh, no. Here it comes. Oh, no. Oh, no. That sucks. Rest in peace, wasted memory. I just heard him do a lunk alarm prank on his show earlier today, too. 
Hey, Brad, it's Justin from Maryland. Just a very quick uh, voicemail to let you know that you're still posting uh, every hobo sode onto phonelosers.org. I just looked and 159 <sighs> just went up. I know. And 158 is still there. 154 is still there. I know. So I know you said in the last one that you didn't mean to do that. So I'm just letting you know that you're still doing that. It turns and, out it's not uh, my fault. They're still showing up for everybody even though we can't listen to them. Yeah. Okay, bye. Sucks to be you. You know how you can fix that. It's really easy. Just go to phonelosers.com slash cactus and sign up to be a supporter. And there you go. Problem solved. Yeah, I was setting those to not show to the general public, but it wasn't letting me. And I couldn't find confirmation of this, but I think is what was going on is that the WordPress plugin that I was using had a limit to how many things that I could make private with that software. And I must have reached my limit. So yesterday, or maybe it was the day before, I finally paid for the software. I've been using it for six years now, so I should pay for the software, right? It gives me other uh, cool things too that I can do with it. Like now, if you sign up on phonelosers.com, you don't have to use PayPal anymore. Now you can use Stripe and just use some other credit card number of yours that has nothing to do with PayPal. So that's kind of cool. And I think there's a way for me to set it up to take Bitcoin. I don't know if I want to do that or not. And I forget what all else it does. But I've been messing around with it quite a bit for the past couple days, making it all work better. And I did get those posts taken off of phonelosers.com. I think I did anyway. Yeah, I checked it. They're gone now. So hopefully that won't be a problem anymore. Unless I actually forget. Hey Brad, it's just calling on in from Tempe, Arizona. Hey. And I just wanted to say that I really like the new segments of your show where you call the payphone the Salt Lake City Airport. So you yeah. should make sure to do that a lot. Those are always um, fun. Back when I was... I like getting hung up on... Just uh, like getting out of... People game, not saying anything. Like in juvie and stuff. I was sent to this facility out in, out in Utah. And um, it was a little bit better than juvie. But basically, one of the things that it you could do was that you could go home and of course you know it was out in the middle of fucking nowhere in utah i flew out through the salt lake city airport and i, th I think i've definitely prank called people like <laughs> from those pay phones because <laughs> you're pretty much with a staff member 24 7 um, yeah. unless you you know are at the airport flying home for your home pass um towards the end of the program and so it was like my chance at freedom and i would you know just kind of try to mimic your phone calls and be really not very funny and fail Oh, so you're, yeah, you're no, saying I'm not funny. Yeah, I see I've how it is. Those very phone call, uh, pay phones that you've used. So yeah, call them. That's you know, crazy. Bring them back into my life. I demand you. So anyway, okay, check, I will. Check. I've got them written down in my notebook. I also added a new number to my notebook today. It's an elevator phone. When you call it, you're connected to an elevator, but it doesn't seem to be a very busy elevator. But I will keep trying on that. And I'm pretty sure I have even more elevator phone numbers. Like on the old PLA forums, we used to collect them on there. That'd be kind of fun, messing with people in elevators. Hey, bro, you should leave. You should do a fake interview pranks. Like, just call up a company and say that you're coming in for an interview. Yeah. And just do some wacky stuff. Okay. Do wacky stuff. What a great idea. I'm going to do it. Hey, Brad. Dr. Osh calling. Hey. There was a show... I guess the number is 523. It's where you made the HOA sovereign, and uh, they had that meeting in a few hours, so you were calling everybody, telling them all the new rules and laws and visas and tariffs they'd have to pay. And, yep, uh, I remember. Uh, the weekly book burnings. That was a great show. Uh, part of that HOA, you mentioned during the show that they published their minutes on their website, mm -hmm. and I, I might have missed it, but I was wondering if you ever went back. You, in the show, you say you bookmarked the website. I was wondering if you ever went back to see if uh, there was any mention of the uh, HOA sovereignty changes. Let's find in out. Their, uh, minutes from uh, back there. in, uh, I guess, uh, January, huh? Yeah. Anyway, uh, if you haven't already looked, it'd be great to check it out. All I right. have. Talk to you later. I've looked a few times. They're always a uh, few months behind with their things. So I'm looking, and oh my gosh, I see one for January 9th. But it says here in my show notes that I did that on January 3rd. Hmm. So yeah, let me click on the download. It's a PDF. I also wrote down that it was 2018, and it wasn't 2018, so I'm a big dummy. And no, there is absolutely nothing in here about my phone calls, but this is, there's like several different meeting things on the page, so that one was more like financial stuff. Oh no, part of this is password protected now. 
Maybe they got word that I was going to go look at their meeting stuff. This content is password protected. To view it, please enter your password below. Crap, and I see their agenda here for the next meeting. Wait, no, I guess that happened already. But yeah, there's nothing in here. Oh, look at this. They have classified ads, but it's just for services. Yeah, I don't know. I'll look at this later. I promise I'm not going to forget. It's sitting here in my show notes, and I've been waiting for the meeting minutes to pop up. So I will not forget, but it looks like it's possible that nothing's there about me. Hey, Brad, it's Micro Corgi. Hey. I realized you're going to have a Snowplow Show episode 555 coming up soon, and that gave me a thought. Okay. In every TV show, movie, video game, book, everywhere, 555 is the uh, the first three of every phone number because it's just a generic uh, cop-out for any phone numbers. Yeah. So you have to do a bunch of calls related to movie plots. So maybe you can go back to Powder. You okay. can do more Tuck Pendleton stuff. What a great I don't idea. Know. Obviously, there are people with much better suggestions. People, you need to take note. Do movie plots. But I think that would be a pretty cool thing to do on 555. Okay. So have a good one. Great idea. Away. Yeah, I never remember to do anything creative with my show numbers like that. The only one I can remember that I did was episode 420. And then episode 404, which is not found, doesn't exist because LOL. It's me, Denver. So I was listening to your one episode that you didn't call Maryland. You didn't call those Royal Farms in Maryland. Of course. And I noticed that you said you called Pennsylvania. I thought Pennsylvania had a two-party consent. Uh-huh. I don't know. Maybe you'll educate me. No, That's I- all, so... Bye, Brad. Keep it up. I never pay attention to the two-party consent laws. The thing in Maryland is completely different. They have an actual law in Maryland that says prank calling is illegal, which I guess means it's an extra bad idea to prank call in Maryland. That's the only state that does that, as far as I know. But two-party consent states, psh, who cares? Hey, Brad. It's Justin from Maryland. I hey. uh, was listening to episode 532, Save Jones, and I noticed about halfway through the episode you were pretty it sounded like you were drunk halfway um, but through i've been watching your show for a couple of years now and i don't think i've ever heard you doing the show uh drunk before is that like something that used to happen and then you stopped doing it or have you done that before i'm not confessing uh, to anything and then my second question I'm is end up in um drug counseling again what was my second question oh crap oh my second question is, you said uh, there was something about Maryland. You said you couldn't call stores uh, in Maryland. Here we go again. Uh, because there was some sort of law something against Maryland. Pr- new prank call law. Could you t- uh, say anything more about that or, or maybe direct me to a... No, oh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know where to look up laws, really. Sorry about that, because I live in Maryland, and I tried to look it up and couldn't find anything about any sort of new prank call laws that had been passed recently. So That's not new. Give us some more information about that. That'd be great. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye. It'd been out for a while. Maybe it's just Carlito trolling me again. He's the one that told me about this. Somebody else who's not me should figure this out. Number one, when you do it with all the guys, it come out like shit. When, what? So when you do your program alone, it's real good. Okay? But if you do it with all the guys, it's shit. Oh, okay. Second. It's a good thing I don't do that. Yeah, and I have some criticism for you. You mumble a lot. That's about it. And there's lots of pauses in your voicemail, and it's really long, and I'm shutting it off now. What's up, Brad? Hello. No love, no love here. Okay. Now, for the listeners that are wondering... Is it about Maryland? Now, three months ago, and it never gets played. Here are a couple reasons. One, your voicemail's too goddamn long. Yep. Two, you're a hobo, and you should probably subscribe on Patreon. Or that no. thing that he's trying to push now. Or you're just, uh, you're not cool enough, man. So just like cool up your, uh, your voicemail. Other than that, I'm gonna, de- I'm gonna delete you guys this voicemail. Great day and, uh, Fuck this one. No glove, no love. Oh, Yeah, or you do that and I just delete the whole voicemail out of spite. And no, you don't have to be on Patreon to leave voicemails. I'm not Tim Henson here. I don't have a special voicemail line just for the Patreons. Maybe I should, though. You know, I get a lot of voicemails that are just blank. It'll be like 25 seconds of just emptiness. Like they had their mute button down or they didn't have their microphone configured. So I think a lot of the people that complain, they might be leaving me blank voicemails and not realizing it. Others just have shitty quality and I'll play a few seconds of it and be like, nah, delete. Hey Brad, it's Crimson. Okay. So we all know when you're single or not, because uh, whenever you're going through the voicemails, you get, like, kind of a little excited every time you hear a female caller call yeah, up. Yeah, that's like, me. Oh, hi, Brad. And you're like, whoa, I, uh, 
Yeah, I, think you're, really I think you're. I think you're projecting, things, Crimson. Like, extra little comments on it and everything. Yeah, we know. We know, Brad. That's the signal. To, and then, uh, to, by the way, you got me all figured uh, out, don't you? Why haven't you ever played this certain song that actually the name of the song is a phone number? All right, it's a Logic. Logic is the artist who sings it. The number is one eight hundred two seven three eight two five five. I mean, Brad. If there's any song you'd ever play, it would be a song that is a phone number, right? One eight hundred two seven three eight two five five. Why don't you play that song? You got it, Brad. It would it would be so great. And the copyright violations okay. would be unreal. All right, thanks, Brad. Mike. Great idea. I'm, I feel like I'm out of my mind. Oh, this song. Uh... Like my life yeah, I don't know. I didn't even know that was the name of the song. I also don't play that stupid payphone song by Maroon 5. You're not complaining about that. Or the Lady Gaga song. Hi, Roy. It's uh, Natalia Sarai from oh, Russia. Oh, oh, hey, hey, oh, hey, Natalia. Hey. Well, look, everyone. It, it, it's a girl. I'm getting all flustered here. My face is turning red. And I was moving around cases. But, um... Jesus, what? The first call on your last show, um... With the lady, she was freaking out on you. The, the put Dane on the phone, <laughs> lady. Since you get on the phone, uh, I'm pretty sure her name is Karen. That's how um, Karen's usually act. What? And her husband seems like she had to. Um, he had to bail her out of uh, a lot of things that she started. I'm sure, she uses old coupons and calls the manager whenever <laughs> the cashier doesn't accept them. Yeah. Once half off of. Products. I thought you were saying you knew them. Seems like that type. Oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Call into the show. I think he was acting like your granddad or your uncle or something like that, but that was a long time ago. And he would call you and tell you how much. Uncle Scott. <laughs> and then he'd start crying at the end. I, I miss him. Uh, what happened to that guy? He died. Because whenever he called, I would die laughing, but I haven't heard from him in a long time. Sorry, the voice was so long. Have a great day. Bye. That's all right. You're a girl, so you can get away with it. Because you know how I get when female callers call in. But yeah, Uncle Scott, he died. I forget exactly how his voicemails ended, but they ended with him dying or something, I think. And we never heard from him again. Maybe he died for real. He was awesome. I miss you, Uncle Scott. If you're still out there. Call into the voicemail sometime. Ooh. <laughs> Hello, little boy. What's your name? Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Have you been a good little boy? <laughs> Would you like a piece of candy? I've got a little treat for you. <laughs> All right. Thanks for that voicemail. And here's the last one. Hey, Roy, it's Axe. I thought you might find this interesting. Remember that church that you uh, called a while back? Well, the, the pastor there, Pastor Maddox, is in trouble because he kicked a 103-year-old woman out of church, called her Jezebel, and just banished her from the church. So what? maybe you should call them back and ask about this old woman who's done nothing. <laughs> okay. All right, bye. Wow. Pastor Maddox, what, what's happened to you? You used to be such a nice guy. I see an article here from 2015. I think I may have talked about this on the show before, maybe. She'd been a member of the church for an incredible 92 years, and when she showed up at the church, Reverend Maddox called the police to have her removed. It doesn't say why, though. Is this the one where she wasn't paying enough money? I remember an article like that a while back. Anyway, that's the end of today's show. Thanks for listening, everyone. Thanks to the sponsors of today's show, Stan Trucker, high school graduate Thomas Z., Omni and another prank call show. If you'd like to support the show, you can do that at patreon.com slash phone losers or phone losers.com slash cactus or newproject2.com slash phone losers. That's two as in T O O. Or is it T O or is it T W O or is it the number two? What an easy URL to say. Great fucking idea, Dick. We're going to end today's show with a song that is not 1 800 273 8255 by Logic. This is the Phone Trips song by Evan Doorbell. Hello.